Hi, Karen Dice here, and this is the April 2014 Rule and Regulation Update from Mortgage Currency. Now, first of all, there are 11 articles in this issue, but I want you to know that there are five different downloads, charts, and checklists, and mortgage talking point article for you to download. Now, as far as social media marketing goes, you're also going to find the regular Facebook posts and automatic tweets. Now, just a reminder that there is a help desk for subscribers where you can ask the experts your loan scenario questions, your underwriting conditions, or your loan conditions. So here's a short synopsis of just a few of the articles that you might read right away. So let's start out with the FICO 9 scoring model that's expected to be launched this summer. Now, first, did you know that there are 50 different FICO scoring models out there? That's why you see the differences between lenders and between credit bureaus when it comes to the various credit scores just on one borrower. Now, Doc Compton has provided you some insight on what to expect with the FICO 9 scoring model. So take a few minutes and read that article. And if you do USDA loans, I'm sure that you are aware that there's going to be changes to counties that may or may not qualify for rural housing mortgages. One of the big changes from the recently signed Farm Bill was to uh, increase the population of quote-unquote rural areas from 25,000 to 35,000, which opened up more eligible areas. However, you're going to find a draft in this issue of the ineligible areas that now exceed that 35,000 number. But I wanted to let you know that that subject to change goes into effect on October 1st, but you might want to forewarn your real estate agents and your borrowers because you still have some time to get those loans closed. Nowadays, compliance is on everybody's mind, and I know it's making you crazy. But even though you might have a compliance department that takes care of all these things, it starts at the point of loan origination. And that's why it's important for everyone, including loan officers, processors, company owners, to know something about the topic. Now, with compliance on the brain, Fannie is trying to help you out by creating a quality control worksheet where you and your company can assess whether or not you meet some minimum compliance requirements. In addition, you're not going to find this anyplace else, Tammy Butler has created a fair housing checklist that she recommends that you include in every single file. It helps to ensure that your pricing is consistent, and if it's not, why not? And did your client re receive the lowest rates and fees for the program that they applied for? This is exactly what the CFPB is looking for if your company is ever audited for fair housing issues. And HARP is not dead yet. In fact, Fannie keeps pushing the program and, and for LOs to go out and originate more of those loans. And what they have done is they've created some new marketing materials. They include sample ads, door hangers, flyers, and letters you can use to solicit borrowers. And we have a link to Fannie's website so you can download some of those pieces. And finally, a little while ago, we created a energy efficient mortgage class where we covered all of the agencies. However, we've had several subscribers ask us specifically to go into more detail with the VA energy efficient mortgages. And VA has set usually a limit of $6,000 for energy efficient improvements, which is great for, um, for the veterans. While they can exceed that dollar amount, uh, you know, it goes through a lot of approval processes. So if you stay within that 6000 range, you're going to be okay. So we've also created a mortgage talking points for your real estate agents and your VA buyers of the list of items that are considered energy efficient. So check with your investors but it's just another way to set yourself apart from the competition. So thanks for viewing this short video. Hang in there, and remember that getting a loan approved and closed these days is rocket science.